Howdy guys, I'm back with more Mass Effect Andromeda. So I need to earn the trust of my new friend Jal by helping out the Angara. I can either go help the scientists or meet with the resistance. I hate making choices like this because what happened is in the original Mass Effect, I ended up going the whole entire half of the game before I met Liara, because I felt it was a blind playthrough, I didn't know, so hopefully uh, picking between Voeld and Havarl doesn't make as big a difference as uh, making the choice of where to go first in the first game did. Okay, bundle up, people. I'll stay on my nice warm ship. All right, I guess uh, Voeld is a ice planet here. Oh man, surface temperature negative, negative 40 Celsius. I can't even imagine what that feels like. Voeld is a world going through an ice age. Once packed with dozens of major urban centers, most of Voeld's Angaran population now lives in scattered settlements. The remnants of vast ancient cities are still in two. Alert, Voeld is a stronghold of the Ket. Caution advised. So I wonder if the Ket have some kind of, I guess they probably have some kind of like built-in immunity to the ice or they're like, it doesn't affect them as badly. Alright, do you wish to disembark the Tempest? Let's check out Voeld. I usually love like icy, frosty places in video games, so I'm pretty happy to be going here. I don't know if I've gotten anything else particularly exciting. I think I'm gonna hang on to what I have for now. I um, I researched a pretty nifty sniper rifle, but I can't. I don't have the materials to make it yet. I wonder if I shouldn't try. Hmm. This one has more damage, but I'm not really sure if the damage offsets the um, you know, the loss in rate of fire, clip size, and everything. I can't really tell. I'll just I'll keep it simple and keep what I have now. I don't want to hurt myself. <laughs> All right, and let's see, armor, okay, um, I think this is all, yeah, I get like the experience stuff. I don't think I need to change any of this. I don't think I got anything new anyway. <laughs> all right, backup life support. I don't know how useful that's going to be. I don't know, if I'm going to be out in the ice, I might actually need that, huh? You know what? I, I was laughing at it, but if I'm going onto an icy planet, you know, maybe the backup life support has like a Snuggie in it or something. Alright, and the squad. Oh man, now this is a hard one. I don't really know who I want to bring with me. Alright, well I think it goes without saying, Jal has to come because these are his people, right? I, I'm trying to earn his trust, so he's coming, there's no question about it. Now, as far as the second person, I feel like I'm going to need someone that's kind of beefy. So probably either Vetra or Drac. I think Vetra might have a little bit more fun out here. I think I'm going to bring Vetra. I don't really know if this is a very good crew. I think this is a pretty sexy crew. I think this is the sexiest crew, actually. Alright, well, I'm going to go with this one. I want to blend into the snow so they can't see me coming. It's very important. Alright, so uh, I guess this is what I want. Let's Take start. her down, Callow. We designated this planet Habitat 6. Original readings suggest that it had a breathable, nitrogen-rich atmosphere and oceans of H2O. I take it that's no longer the case. All H2O in Habitat 6, vold to the Angarai, is ice. And those oceans? Frozen over completely. There goes the dream of a seaside property. Oops, I've been calling it Vold like an uneducated hick. Okay, Vold, my bad. <laughs> I don't think I've pronounced a single thing. 
That's a pretty intense blizzard. LZ is on the windward side of the mountain. Conditions are bad. I'm tracking gale force squalls. to get out and push very feel, funny rider i feel very underdressed <laughs> got a tank top on over here well i said i liked snow worlds well here i am i guess i got what i wanted <laughs> all right it's a uh, cold environment hazard level one all right um oh whoops my quest thing over here is going bonkers i don't know why i in the top right i don't know why it's doing all that. Um, oh, uh, fine. Well, oh. Sylvie wasn't kidding about the cold. All right. Uh, ooh, Temperatures has... are below freezing and continuing to fall. Oh, jeez. It's super cold. Okay, where's these? I guess I shouldn't. I guess I shouldn't dally around, huh? I better want to. I guess I want to hurry on over there. So run, 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 run before we freeze to death. Good place for a secret hideout. The snow and ice camouflages everything. Keep going, Ryder. Try not to make any sudden movements. Oh. You're probably being watched. Don't Great. They really mean business, don't they? Don't make sudden movements. I'm freezing my ass off. I'm going to make as many sudden movements as I want. They better have hot cocoa waiting on me or I'm going to be mad. Oh, man. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Guess we're playing platformer. Whoops, failed the first jump. All right, right on track for me then. Right, we right ahead. I need a minute to defrost. Oh. We're almost there. We'll need to talk to Commander Anyik when we arrive. Okay, so you can... Life support at 100%. Cool. That's neat. So you can uh, come defrost if you're a little too chilly. All right. Well, that's good because I'm going to get lost in here. All right. Guess I have to jump, which... Uh, am I going to... I'm going to have to start quick saving like a spaz constantly. I think I am. Because I suck at that. Ooh, look at that over there. That light is even bending. How is that light bending in the wind? And I'm just standing here, like, a, you know, strong on the mountain. What I'm happened? reading a severe temperature drop. Great. Oh, friends? Friends? Hi? Hello? Friends? Hello. Environment Hello. check. Temperatures are within acceptable Hello. parameters. Give the commander's authorization to take them to the base. Yes, she knows. We're headed to see her now. Oh, okay. Well, I thought that they would be a little bit more excited to see me. Oh, a lot of these little heat things everywhere. Hmm. Are those? Are these? Are those all? Extreme cold is detected, Pathfinder. Huh. Extreme cold, I guess. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting this scan thing. All right, ultraviolet emission coil. The ambient temperature is normal. The device is a heater, but also Life support is back online. sunlight oh, to recharge and guard physiology. Cool. I could use one of these. <laughs> Alright, I guess I just keep running between these. Heard about Kiva. I still can't find him. His sister came through here. Set out alone to search for him. And she's as tough as her brother. Extreme cold is detected, Pathfinder. Okay, yes, you've told me this three, at least 300 times. All right, guess there's nothing really to... Oh, here we go. Can I... Am I too close, maybe? Can I not... Really? There's no relevant data on that? That looks exciting, though. Really? Okay, if you say Environment so. Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. All right, am I... All right. This looks like the place... Okay, oop, ooh. Hey, the hey there, Explorer. I hear you have a very impressive vehicle, yes? No. We call it the Nomad. No, I don't. I'm an amateur mechanic myself. Build vehicles for my people. Upload this schematic for your mechanic, with my compliments. Uh-huh. They can upgrade your vehicle's shielding once you find the needed components. Oh. 
He'll be thrilled. He'll look it over. Uh, he'll look it over. I'll have him vetted. Thanks. My pleasure, human. Uh, you can find some of what you need here on Vold. The rest, out and about. Alrighty. Thanks. <laughs> I mean, I guess... Isaac is wasting time. We should be out there looking for Michelle. I guess he's Michelle's just... dead. You saw the explosion. Michelle? Yes. Michelle's explosion. She would have known exactly how to protect herself. We can put a pod together. Go back out there. Herif, maybe, and Eshka. Don't be foolish, Hana. Please be angry, grieve, rage, but please drop this. So these just must be very, like, generous and kind people or something. They just, here, take this. Why not? The females look super cartoony, though, like way... I mean, I mean, that they both look kind of ridiculous, but the, the females have, like, the super big anime waifu eyes. <laughs> they look really kind of goofy. Ooh, gorilla armor. Ooh. All right, all right. All kinds of, uh, all kinds of goodies. Really glad I got the item upgrade thingy. I heard about the cat ambush. Is Alder okay? She's fine. Alder's been through worse. Oh, that's right. She was at Solveth. Hmm. So it seems like people are just besieged on all sides by hardship, cat, and what's that? That's really shiny. Good to see you again, Commander Dozil. And you, Jal. This is the alien. The one you think can help us. Yes. This is Ryder, of the Andromeda Initiative. I am Anyik Dozil. Remember the name, because if you betray us, I will kill you myself. Okay. Be assured that what I do to you will make the stars turn their faces and grow dark. Uh, are you gonna have to excuse me if I'm about as terrified of the pink, giant-eyed, little cuddlebug alien as you are terrified of my fierce pink... Tumblr haired. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's have, no, no, you, let's not have that. Totally understood. Everyone wants the stars to keep shining, right? Yeah. We're in agreement, then. If you wish to prove yourself, be an ally in our fight against the Ket. Despite our best efforts, their growing forces remain a threat to our people. Speak to our lookouts, who watch the valley. They'll know where our need is dire. Jarl, watch them. And be careful yourself, my friend. Mm. I always am. Oh, man. All right, so... Should I do that now? Can I talk to you some more? You, you seem nice and fierce. You have Don't you have something to do? Don't you have anything to say to me? Oh, okay, okay. I, she's kind of feisty. What's this? Oh, Ket Surveillance, week 42, Novoa Fev. Uh, five o'clock, shift change. Seven o'clock, cat leader goes on uh, to console, speaks with unknown. 8.20, cat patrol returns. Reports nothing unusual. 9.10, cat Erkin enters camp, quickly dispatched. 10.59, cat comes close to bug location. 11 o'clock, cat leader checks weapon. 15.49, cat leader checks weapon again. Gosh, they... Any movement gets logged. What a life to live. That's stressful. Oh, it's not done. This is all the same day, maybe? Yes? No? Oh, I don't know. Oh, no. Week 42. Not day 42. Week 42. So maybe the same... Obviously the same week, different day. Okay. Six o'clock. Group of five cat leave base to deal with roving wild wraith herd. 710. Cat leader makes a daily report to unknown superior. 9.20, glitch in feed, unsure what's causing it. 10.50, cat leader checks weapon, <laughs> weapon for fifth time today. 15, er, 15.30, uh, feed cuts out for two minutes, reported. 16.23, cat leader delivers hour-long speech to underlings. Hmm. And then 1,700, cat leave in the direction of Hijara, reported. Possibly incoming attack. Right, this is oh these are different places that was Novoa Fev that was Novoa 
Bav. Okay, there's there's a two letter difference here. And this one's from Navoa Bay. Alright, three o'clock. Cat leader reports in immediately checks weapon. Static on feed. Or six forty one static on feed. Cuts out for seven minutes. 8.39, cat leader dispatches patrol in rover, unsure of destination. 9.10, feed gone dark, reported. 12, feed still down, possible issue with network, or maybe they know you're, you're snooping on them. Hmm, what significance does that have, I wonder? Is it just showing, an, uh, like, other than the cat leaders are really obsessed with checking their weapons over and over again? What's up with that? Apologies, Pathfinder. I'm a little busy at the moment. Okay, fine. I am too. I've got some paths to find, so I'll go find other people to have find from. I don't Squadron know. Evaroa. I'm picking up hostiles to hold. Hostile patrol approach. From this room. We keep track of our brothers and sisters in the field. Not likely. They don't, don't win a war without good organization. Wonder what all the blinky lights are. <laughs> blinky lights. Hmm. All right, you look important. Pathfinder, I was told to expect you. Davia Kars, Chief Intelligence Officer. I want to brief you on Vold. Any questions about the planet? Ask away. Ooh, okay, yeah, tell me about the... Hmm, the big shiny map behind him, or the war with the cat? Let's, let's go on with the big shiny thing. Is that a map of Vold? A living map, yes. Every region on the planet is represented. Updated in real time, as we get information from scouts and contacts. You can see the nearest Dara, the Jara Tejix, and Yarnik, the archaeological dig the cat have occupied. Okay. Alright, uh, let's see. I guess let's talk about this Dar thing. You mentioned the word Dar. What does it mean? Well, translated directly, it means rock foundation. A Dar is smaller than a city, but larger than a settlement. There are several out here. Angara who live in Dara are combat trained, ready for anything. I guess they need to be. They take pride in defending themselves. But the cat are bolder lately. The Dara are their new target. We've had to change our tactics to protect them. More patrols with the Dara means fewer raids on Ket camps. The Ket know this and use it against us. So there's going to be a lot of fighting here is what I'm, what I'm picking up. How's that war going? How does the Resistance plan to win this war? We don't have the forces to fight a planet-wide war. Our only hope is a strategic strike. The center of all Ket operations on Vold is across the valley. If we take down their command structure, it will weaken them. At least, that is our hope. Oh boy. Ah oh boy, that, that's... I feel like that's gonna have to be something I get involved in and it's going to be a complete and total mess, isn't it? Alright. I think I have enough info. If you need anything else, I'll be here. It's always fun being completely and hopelessly outnumbered. Uh, why couldn't the cat be friendly and the Angara be the bad guys? Alright, translated from Sheelish. I apologize, Olus. My pilot says she made the supply drop at the nav point. I can't figure out why they never reached you. I'll have Anya try again with the new shipment free of charge. The resistance won't starve over a technical issue. Ooh, people aren't getting... Looks like supplies aren't getting through to the resistance. Exactly. Olisk is in charge of requisitions. We should speak with him. Yeah, well, he... I tried speaking with him and he threw a hissy fit. He went... A console used to control various operations. And... Have I looked at this kind of thing? I don't think I have. No, I haven't. <clears throat> Alright, scout reports translated from Sheelish to intelligence officer Kaz. We're seeing an, uh, an increase in activity around Yannick. The cat have erected a barrier of some kind around the dig. Scouts have spotted abducted Angara moving around behind the shield. Looks like the cat have them working on something. We can't tell what it is. Also, more reports of abductions. 
the cat appear to have stopped trying to attack the Dara. Too well defended. That's good. However, looks like they focused their attacks on people traveling across the planet. Ambushes have increased. We should make sure warning gets out. Great, that means me. I'm going to walk out there and get my whole face ambushed. But that's just kind of to be expected. I mean, it wouldn't be very fun to just wander around the planet and not get attacked. <laughs> I don't know, I don't think I can replace the They're younger than I, I expected, like... but they have spirit. Oh yeah, you're still grumpy with me for whatever reason. This is the fella I need to talk to that is maybe not grumpy at me. Maybe. Pathfinder, something I can do for you? Uh... You the requisitions officer? I hear you're having supply issues. Of course not. I don't know what you've heard, but everything is running fine. I saw the messages sent to you. What are you hiding? Keep your voice down. I need to keep this news contained. No one knows the shipments have stopped. If word gets around, we'll have a serious morale drop. I need to investigate this quietly. You have any leads? Not much. The supplies make it planet side, but never reach the base. The obvious answer is the Ket. Sabotage is their style. We changed our drop point, but no luck. I can't send someone to investigate without word getting around. I guess there's no avoiding it eventually. Hmm. Let's see, just be up front. Uh, I'll check it out for you is the obvious answer. I can take a look at the drop point. That way no one will panic. I can't sanction an official search, but I also can't stop you from investigating on your own. The nav point for the last drop location is in my personal console. You seem to be adept at decryption, so I'll let you figure out the rest. What? Oh, now you're being difficult. What do you mean, decryption? Man, I'm trying to help you guys. Ciao, my friend. Welcome home, brother. Oh, just a rando? Is this the console? Oh, okay. Decryption successful, Pathfinder. Updating your nav system with a supply drop point. Okay, well that wasn't too... I'm over here complaining about nothing. I thought it was going to be another one of those like, tower puzzles or something. Report Scout Disrana. Uh, translated. Olisk, I took a party to the supply drop point. Ooh, you're just talking about that. When we got there, everything was gone. Our contact was missing. The snow showed signs of activity. Multiple vehicles. The Ket, maybe? I'll keep this quiet until you get this sorted. Yeah, definitely. Can. They all say the same thing. The resistance is missing supplies. Yep, which, mm, if, it, if it's super obvious, then it's gotta be what's not so obvious, like it's an it's inside job. Come home, please. Dear Tarva, please come back to Aya. I know you want to fight for us. But we need you here too. Your children miss you. You want to build a world where they don't have to fear the cat. But is that really better than not knowing their mother? I know you've made your decision, but I beg you to reconsider, please. Remember what it was like with your own father and how it felt. With love, your mother. Aw oh, man. Something really bad's gonna happen on this planet. to be back. I have friends here. Oh, but I Let's try to make a good first impression. And I never get yep, they're staring. Do I? You're so good at guilting me, Oh, Zink. yeah. Me and Vetra, Vetra and I must look wacky as hell, huh? It's kind of weird being the alien instead of dealing with aliens, huh? I am the alien. Whoa, didn't mean to sneak up on you. Your commander said you could show us the valley. Zeke, I don't want to talk to it. You talk to it. Ryder has a name. You named it? How do you even tell them apart? 
Stars, Beniska, just stop talking. I'm the only one. Yeah, we can show you the valley. What are you looking for? What do you mean, how do you tell them apart? I'm literally the only human here. That's so goofy. There's a, a, a tur the Turian over there looks absolutely nothing like me. You need to get your big stupid eyes checked. All right, uh, to kill the kid, to help, to help Angara. I'm here to help your people. Know anyone who needs it? We've got reports from Hajara about someone trying to rescue a kidnapped family. See those red lights? That's it. If you're here to help, like the commander says, you could start there. Anything else? Uh, red lights? Those red lights? You said that's Hajara? Yes. Hajara Station. One of the Dar in the valley. It's a small community, mostly scientists. There's people there that might need help, if you haven't checked it out already. Is it difficult to live out here? Why so surprised? We've adapted to this weather. Those lights are conspicuous. Don't the cat attack? We've adapted to that, too. The cat wants to take us alive, so we fight to the death. It seems to deter them. Jeez. So the cat fear death, then, if they fight to the death? So, hmm. I was, after reading the Codex, I was thinking the cat were maybe manufactured, and maybe that's not the case if they're actually fearing death. Or maybe... Maybe it's just inefficient to kill people and they'd rather not do it. I don't know. That's. I feel like that's more important. I feel like that's kind of an important line. Maybe not, though. All right, yeah, I want to ask about Remnant. Do you know of any Remnant sites or ruins? Uh, I think so. Actually, I don't know. Seek, do you ever read the dailies? No, you'll tell me if I need to know something. So, where is it? Tall lights, over on your right somewhere. Alright, tall lights, over on my right. I know where I want to go. Or should I wait for PB and I bring PB? Can I, ch I can change people around, I guess. Like, well, let's keep talking for now. What's that alien facility on that mountain over there? That's the Ket Command Center. We have constant eyes on it. What's its purpose? It controls Ket operations on the entire planet. There's always ships coming and going. I came face to face with the Prefect there. Meanest, motherless Bissan I ever saw. Even the cats seemed afraid. We don't have much intel on her, though. Ooh, all right. I'll let you get back to your work. Yeah, you behave. We're watching you. Mm -hmm. Tempest, we're going to need the Nomad. My position. <sighs> deploying forward station. Good luck, Ryder. Activating automated forward station deployment. Oh. Mining zones have been added to your nav system, Pathfinder. Extreme cold is detected, Pathfinder. Um, okay, okay, okay. It's probably. I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. It's probably better than. Life support restored. Walking on my feet, especially. Okay, Sam. What's Vold got for us? Cat activity appears to be centered around this large central command post. According to Resistance Intelligence, the base coordinates all cat military efforts on Vold. And taking it down will cripple their operations. In theory. However, given the trouble the Angara Resistance has had infiltrating the base, it will not be a simple task. I recommend a more cautious approach that starts with the investigation of smaller cat installations. Any suggestions on how to get on Ephra's good side? Resistance dispatches indicate there is someone in Hojara who needs help. We could visit Tekix, a larger and more established Angara Dar that is nearby. Sounds good. Thanks, Sam. Pathfinder, Vold's temperature range is fixed well below freezing, with pockets of even more severe conditions. This necessitates the use of the Nomad. I advise against prolonged exposure to the cold. Got it? Don't crash the car. Our scans have detected remnant monoliths, which suggests the presence of a Vault. And that means we might be able to melt this ice cube. All right, we've got our work cut out for us. Let's get going. All right, well, I guess I probably do want the Nomad because, yeah, I would freeze and there's Coco inside. All right, so I guess it's up to me what I want to... Ooh, this place.
place is even bigger than Eos, huh? So I guess it's up to me what I want to do first. Oh, oh, some of these things. Uh, oh, there's a memory trigger. Okay. Arg, too much stuff on my map. Okay, so I guess, hmm. Do, so are these in my journal, all those things that uh, Sam just listed off? No, not really. Is it under here? Um... Okay, I'm not really sure where all those quests he just told me. Are they just additional to, um, no? Hmm. Alright, I'm feeling kind of dumb right now. He's telling me to go, do I just, I guess I just go to those places and see if there's anyone that needs help then, huh? Alright, well, I guess I'll just drive forward. <laughs> can't screw that up. Oh yeah, I guess there's a big clip there because I can't screw that up. <clears throat> Follow the lights, Ryder. Hey now. Trust me. Can you even see through this snow? You guys are free to drive if you want. Oh, whoops, I'm backwards. I was trying to troll the motion to see if it get agitated. Uh, oh, okay, it keeps going. Alright, go to Pizarra. Alright, here we go. Oh, whoops, the lights are over there. Did the lights go? Alright, here's the lights. Here we go. Need to exit the mail pad. We're out of the worst of it. Temperature should be manageable now. Oh, it's kids. Hi, kids. I'm just gonna be over here while y'all go over there being kids. Oh, do I have to deal with that? Oh, I guess I have to deal with that. I'm not allowed to just drive right by. Alright. Ooh, but I can mine here and it's good mining. Pathfinder. This area can be mined for resources. Yeah, I'm gonna You do can that. extract minerals via your mining Ooh, interface. Really? Whoa. Can't I just warm up with my my probe closet in there or something? Alright, uh, I need some of that beryllium, so that was nice. Alright, you're never gonna see me over here. Look at these boat. He just look, they're coming from up here, guys. They're coming up from up here. Easy. I can't uh, get back. There we go. They're never gonna- oh, whoops, I keep sliding off. There's like real ice physics in this. Alright, look at this. They don't even see me coming. I'm so smart. I'm so clever. Oops. I'm so clever. They don't even see me coming. <laughs> look at this dumb guy. He's dead in the head. Whoops. Oh, oh, whoops, there's, a, there's another dude. Look, he has no idea what's going on over here. Why do you help me? I'm helping you, not seeing help me. Keep complaining about Here, let's. There we go. And. I can't hit him in the head very well. I can hit him in the body, but not so much the head. Alright, are there more? Oh, there's more. I need people. help here. I'm helping you. This is help. This is called help. Oh my gosh. Sorry it wasn't fast enough to your liking, but my whole strategy of driving through them with the nomad and then coming from behind is just it's, it's just pretty solid and i'm gonna stick with it so that's why you and gar are having a hard time you haven't adopted my strategy my highly successful strategy buy my book now on yeah. oh you've got a cute little snow outfit oh you're adorable okay did i not have to help them or okay um I guess I just keep going. Okay, I guess I'm supposed to just stay along the lines and keep uh, helping. Uh, maybe I need to keep helping people, or maybe I don't need to help them and I can keep going. I imagine the experience is probably worth it. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, or I could just jump off this. I mean, honestly, the, the, it's the, the most direct point between, oh yeah, reach the drop point, okay, yeah, 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 this takes me to all the, okay, no doing stupid stuff, no jumping off the mountain, no jumping off the mountain, all right, uh, okay, the line didn't kill me, I'm not sure what's up with that line, is that something like Did your people have plans to settle here? You seem easily affected by the cold. Uh, I wonder if we'll ever see a so-called golden world that won't be complete death to live on. Unlike, uh, unlikely? Alright, this uh, drop point thing is right here. I hope I didn't pass it. I think I did. Is it upsies or downsies? 
I should probably quit having so much fun. <laughs> let me sit here for a second, everyone let everyone else handle it. I've got my little my little handy dandy assault rifle. For, uh, not there we go. Alright, I think I need to get more of my like, health and shields if I wanna go over here. Why were Angara attacking us? Face Pathfinder, me. I detect a data pad nearby. Oh, this isn't surprising to me because I read the codex, unlike you, Ryder. Ooh, is this is this better? I think, uh... Hmm. Hmm. Is it? I think it is a little bit better. I, I don't know if I should take it, right? Well, I mean, like... Do I... Yeah, I guess I should, huh? Can I... Yeah. Is that a good idea? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I mostly use the other weapon anyway. All right, let's look at this data pad. I've provided the location for the new drop point. Supply drop is scheduled for later today, so get there quickly. If the stars are with us, the drop will contain shield tech. I must remind you again about discretion. You are not to reveal your mission to anyone. If Ephra hears we're building a stockpile, we'll, he'll take action. We must keep this up for as long as possible. Skies guide you, Axul. Axul? Should I know about him? That's a conversation for another time. Mm. Pathfinder, I have informed Olisk. The drop point is secure. Good. The Resistance should get their supplies now. Oh, so do I just need to go talk to him again? Oh, that was an easy enough quest. Just right over here. An interesting one as well. I, it, I knew, like, it, it said that there were, it were, it was going to be Ket, it, all signs pointed to Ket, but even when he changed the drop points, it still was like... Pathfinder, hmm. this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. But, um, but, it, but, it, so, it makes sense that Angara would, like, intercept signals or, or whatever, and know where the... It corners a little poorly, doesn't it? Your vehicle? Yes. I swear, I will turn this car around. No, I won't. I love you, Jaw. I also hate this car. Oh, it's over... Oh, that's, that's hitting rocks for science. Did I... Okay, hold on. What the hell am I doing? On the front lines. Go to Hajar. All right, this is where I want to go. Okay, okay. I got a little sidetracked there. There we are. All right, let's get out of here. Ooh, but I want to get out of here, though. I, I can actually, if I can jump off this, I can probably kind of fly over a bit. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I think I covered some pretty good ground. Alright, now what's this over here? This looks important. This looks like... Pathfinder, I detect a cat camp ahead. Oh yeah, that's definitely... Hostiles ahead! Yep, this is definitely a cat camp. Oh, whoops, I don't have to get here like this. I'm out of here. Alright, yeah, that's definitely a cat camp. Oh, this ice is very cool looking. Oh man, I love ice here. This is so pretty. Alright, yeah, we're gonna... The Turians have compulsory military service. Is that right? Most. I didn't. My father took us from Palavin before I came of age. Maybe it's good not to learn exactly the same thing as everyone else. Why did I go sideways? <laughs> but yeah, so, you know, from reading the codex, I knew that there was a... Pathfinder, a remnant site is ahead. Defense systems may be active. What the heck, why is... What's going on here? Why is this place just abandoned? Is that a body over there? Hold on. I want to 
want to get out and investigate a second. It's no relevant data, but there's like a body. Really? No. This is this is just nothing. This is uh eating away. Ours. We don't leave our fallen unless we have to. I detect an Angaran data device transmitting a low frequency homing signal. Someone left it on purpose. freezing my butt off and I'm gonna go inside. <laughs> if I'm supposed to be seeing something here, I don't know what it is. Here, I guess I can set up a new thingy thing here. Anywhere in particular. Or... Oh, it's telling me to get out and scan stuff. Oh, but there's stuff over there. That looks like a camp over there. I don't know if I want to roll down this or not. Alright, I guess I'll get out for a second. What's it want me to scan here? Okay. The lights, maybe? sure what it's what I'm supposed to I guess I just need to go over there I thought I was trying to get me to scan something with the my little compass blinking on the top there. Right. This, this, this looks like looks like an Angaran way. settlement oh, let's okay. see if someone here needs help Derp. all right quest helper was m tripping me up for no reason I, I just hear the researchers here drill into the ice in order to study got ice up again Someone What's around here probably knows what probably that ice is for. The de-icing system. Now I'm thinking I'll about that one job I did. Drilling for Ezo on an ice planet. Okay. Let's talk to people. Hey, you. Hi. Hi. Oh, it's doing that thing where I have to, like, walk away to get him to talk to me again. Oh, no. I can't get him to talk to me. What the heck? Okay, I guess, I guess they don't talk. I'll talk to you. We can't just attack an entire You're that base. alien people have been talking about. Some say we can't trust you. But if you're here to fight Kev, that's good enough for me. Aw, that seems quick and thanks. I appreciate that. I'm glad that I'm glad someone's not sitting here questioning me. I appreciate the vote of confidence. Yeah. Kev kill people. They take our families and we never see them again. Anyone who fights against that has to be better than them. So Will you fight them? I know the location of the labor camp where they took my uncle. Labor camp? What's a cat labor camp for? Different things. They put people in cages there. Sometimes they make them work. Sometimes they collect Angara, and once they have enough, they move them. And sometimes they just kill them. My father died that way. Oh, I'm so sorry. Don't be sorry. Make sure I don't lose more family. You can refuse it. I'll think about it. Sorry about your dead family. Blue. No, of course I'll help. I love cracking. I love cracking cat heads together. I'll get your uncle. Here's the nav point of the labor camp. Please hurry. Nilge may not have much time. All right. Poor, these guys, they're just so helpless and sad looking. I mean, I, I really like the, you know, for the first time in any video game ever, I honestly really don't like the female model. I actually greatly prefer the male model. Usually I love the female models. I always play girl anything and everything, obviously, because I just, you know, I like looking at ladies. They're pretty. They're fun to look at, but... Gosh, the Ankara women, my god, their faces are just like Botox gone wrong or something. I just, I can't, I just can't. But look at the guys, they just look so sensitive and sad and cute. I just adore them, I really do. Alright, can I go in here? Oh yeah, I need that. How's awesome. the dick going? Ooh, we can't here get we go. To take a proper the ice is too thick. If I had better equipment, you would have finished that either. Ooh, I'll roll about it. 
This comm setup is less advanced than those used by Vanguard Resistance. Several parts have been replaced with whatever the researchers had on hand. This includes KET equipment. The presence of KET tech within the setup might explain the strange frequencies it's picking up. Ooh, that's not really a good idea, is it? I mean, no telling how it can enter. I mean, KET technology seems so strange, too. You have no idea how it can interact with your stuff. <laughs> An irritated researcher. Do I really want to... Oh, here we go. Now I can talk to her. Someone said they saw an alien arrive at the resistance base. Now here you are. Here I am. Oh, wish I could talk. But I've got to get this sky-cursed piece of junk working. It's been picking up weird interference for days. I can't transmit data to our colleagues in Talara. Uh, technology, huh? Alright, can I help? Is there something I can do? Maybe. I didn't think you'd be familiar with our machines. Oh, I need to take a break before I kill someone. If you want, feel free to poke around. Ooh, alright. Uh, so... Oh, okay, I guess I can poke around in here. Alright. High-powered communications array. Most likely for planet-wide communications. Makes sense. Anything on that interference the researcher talked about? I am detecting a signal. It is faint, but this equipment is sensitive. Pathfinder, I also observe a regular pattern in this emitted signal. It may be artificial. You don't mean... Ket? Are you saying the Ket are disrupting our comms? We must look into this. Why is it exactly why you shouldn't be met mix messing with their tech, trying to use their stuff? An integrated tech node, Angaran tech demonstrates many key superiorities from design efficiencies to material usage. With research coordination between the initiative and the Angara, those complicated nodes represent significant value. Alright, so what do I do now? <laughs> do I talk to you again? What is that noise? All your monitors say number 46. Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this now. Uh, let's see. Vold. Frequency. Search for the enter. Alright, so yeah, I'm not seeing the... I guess I'd see the little tracker thing, right? The little, like, wire thingy that you sometimes see? Or would it come from outside? Or... Hmm. I mean... It is. Is it in this room? Am I not going far enough? Like outside? Um, I mean, here we go. Track, track it. There we go. Am I an idiot? It seems like it's in here. Oh, it is outside. Is it outside? Oh, it's way over there. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Derp. All right. Gosh, I'm stupid. Okay. <laughs> I have no re- This is why quest tracking exists for people like me. I'm detecting below normal temperatures. Thank you, Sam. Thank you. I still can't talk there. I guess I have to actually be in front of them. That's why I can't talk to their backs. Here we go. I saw your ship land earlier. Impressive vehicle. I was about to say the same to you. Is that thing Ket? Sure is. On our last dig, the Ket destroyed our land cruiser. So why I decided to repurpose one of theirs. It's only fair. Uh, that's a bad idea. Uh, they can't give you trouble? You run into the cat a lot out here? Once in a while. We all have combat training, so we hold our own. The sky is the real problem. That cat base will shoot anything above the ground. Alright. Ooh, we can talk some more. Yeah, cat tech. Let's talk more about that. It seems to be causing troubles. Is using cat machinery common out here? Only if we stumble on it. Or steal it. Hmm. Mostly we stay away from their stuff, in case it's a trap. Exactly. They set traps? Sometimes they rig their machines to explode and lay them out for us. I'd say they're clever, but they learned it from us. <laughs> oh, so they started doing it, and then the kids started doing it back. Oh, man, so it's like, like a war for each other's knowledge, almost. That's interesting. Do you work with Remnant Tech? Not really. I can't activate it, so there's no point. Those tall structures with the lights are fascinating, though. I'd love to get inside one and tinker around. If you're interested, they're north of here. I love how the Angara, Angara all...
all kind of have the same attitude about the remnant tech, which is like, eh, not really a lot we can do with it, so uh, whatever, we don't really care. Whereas it's, whereas it's this really fascinating to, like, PD and, I guess, and Ryder, I guess, because she can interact with it, but it's really cool to see the whole, like, passive attitude amongst all the Angara about the remnant tech. They're all like, eh, what is? What do you do here, besides jacking vehicles? <laughs> I was a civil engineer on Aya. Now I'm a mechanic for the research equipment here. One minute you're designing an aqueduct, the next you're elbow deep in an ice drill. That's a big change. I wouldn't trade it for anything. It's tough out here, but every day is exciting. Besides, I can get on without me. The Jara station needs me. All right, we'll see you around. I'll get going. Stay warm. Don't tell me what to do. All right, is there any other interesting characters over here? Maybe, possibly, The someone... ambient temperature is normal. Someone over here? Have I met you? Janleth, I'm pretty sure there's something here. They were probably affected by the scourge. The microbe variety in the top layer is completely different. They contain traces of four different radioactive isotopes. Then it sounds like you probably don't... Or maybe, like my sister to... says, it's the ice talkers. He's talking to someone I can't hear. Is it this dude? I'm just gonna talk to him, whatever. This is awkward. Ah! This is even more awkward. The numbers check out. I, I don't know what else I can do to strengthen my argument. Okay. I oh, hello. You're that writer alien everyone's talking about. What can I do for you? All right, this isn't going to work for me. Hold on. I should probably get going. All right. I'll have another look at my numbers. Yeah, can I actually, like, talk to you face to face and not whatever that was? The numbers check out. I, I don't know what else I can do to strengthen my argument. I... Oh, hello. You're that writer alien everyone's talking about. What can I do for you? All right, what are these ice walkers? You said something about ice talkers? What are those? Oh, that's something of a joke between me, journalists, and everyone who went to school with us in Australia. One of our classmates was at an old archaeological dig and thought he heard a voice through the ice. Two months later, another group claimed they heard the same thing, an angry voice. What was it? Too much Malay. That's what Janleth says. Now it's become something of a joke between us. So, is it a coin? Are, are the, these Angara's accents and, and the play, this place called Australia, <laughs> is that an accident or do these devs think they're just oh so, so clever and funny and cute? <laughs> Which one is? Oh, there's a lot of people over here actually. Hold on now. This isn't Haval. You spend too long out there in the dark, you'll get weak, sick, or worse. It's bad. I get it. How do I stay alive? The moment you see sunlight, break cover. Soak up all the rays you can. I'll be a target. Not for long. You'll get a lot from just five minutes of exposure. After that, get back under cover. The human is listening to us. You here to learn survival tips from old Percy? You know it. <laughs> Light advice sickness. Yeah, you know, I think I think they say you only need fifteen sunlight uh, fifteen minutes of sunlight a day to get the amount of vitamin D you need, right? Why does your kind need the sun? We draw nourishment from solar radiation, keeps us sharp, even healed minor injuries. But we have to keep out of sight, or the cat will spot us. I mean, everyone needs sun, but they actually need sun. If you go too long without sunlight, do you get sick? Lack of regular exposure puts our bodies under stress. Too much of that, and we're no use to anyone. Have to keep my strength up for the resistance. Well, again, so do humans. You get the uh, seasonal uh, disorder. I forget what it's called. Like some. There, there's like people that get like really depressed and their bodies become really like you know just uh, stressed out and stuff during the winter months so yeah we're humans and Gara not so different maybe you sound like an expert and I'd like to survive what I can teach wouldn't help different biology your body can't store a charge oh okay fair enough fair enough good luck out there I'm ready to go, Pussy. Not so fast. You still don't know how to read a weather pattern. Oh, man. Oh, 
she is the Angara survivor, isn't she? I sent a team to look at that RP. Found an abandoned supply pack on the Eastern Plain. Anything good in it? Mm, ooh, a terminal and two people to talk to. What's the terminal here? Yavara, translated from Shilish. I don't know what to do, Noeth. The outsiders are killing Yavara. We don't have the means to stop them. There are so few left. What if our last piece of living history goes extinct? How do we live with ourselves if we do nothing? I've half a mind to go out there and stop them. I can't let the Yavara suffer like this. I won't let their song be silenced. And another field, or just a field report here. Noeth, we made it to the mountain peak that you had your eye on. You were right, it's an Iraq nesting ground. I wish you could see it, Noeth. I've never seen so many infant Irocs in one place. They seem to be working together as a community to care for their young. It's a behavior no biology ha uh, no biologist has witnessed before. What we're seeing today could change Iraq research for years. I don't know how you knew this would be here, but your instincts were spot on yet again. I can't wait to see you, or see the hollow captures we've taken. Jeez. Well, uh, you know, the whole galaxy is so alive, there's so much going on from the terminals to the people to... Oh, here's the guy from the... Whoops, I guess I should have talked to him first before creeping on his terminal. Hi! Uh, there was an alien lurking about the place. Uh-huh. Don't try to start something. We're all combat trained by the resistance and prepared to die. And try not to disturb our data probes. Our research is valuable, though it may not mean much to you. What is that supposed to mean? What do you study, scientists? Yeah, what do you study? I'm guessing catch? What's your focus out here? Glacial movement, oh. seismology, climate, anything Aya needs from us. Resources are tight, so our scientists know a bit of everything. That way, we're prepared for anything. Are you in charge here? Lead researcher. Worked as a seismologist on Aya before I volunteered for Hijara. You volunteered? We all did. Aya is fine, but all that green gets boring. I can't speak for the rest, but I came here for the adventure. So far, Vold has lived up to my expectations. Always a new mountain to scale. I don't think green could ever get boring as far as, you know, living there. This place is nice for a vacation. I don't even know if it's nice for a vacation. I don't think so. Too many cat for my taste. How long has the station been around? Only a few years. This used to be cat territory before the resistance pushed them out. We've discovered a wealth of resources the cat protected out here. Metals, minerals, even a new species of edible cold weather fungus. All that was hidden under the ice? And more. We've only scratched the surface. Ugh, mushrooms, gross. I'll come back if I need anything. I'll be here. Alright, and I don't know how exciting the merchant will be, but... Never hurts to talk. Well, I haven't seen many of your kind around here, but I've heard lots about the Pathfinder from my friends on Aya. All good things, I hope. So far. Let's see what she had. Her house business. Do you get much business out here? I do all right. The trick is to not stay in one place too long. I travel between here and Techix. Sometimes they even make it up to the resistance camp. Isn't that dangerous with the cat all around? I've had a few close calls, but they haven't caught me yet. The stars are on my side. All right, let's see what you have. Probably not. I'll take a look at your stock. Got plenty of supplies. Yeah, probably not anything I uh, here I'll sell my junk. Um, I guess I had a lot. Alright, confirm. And let's see. A lot of this gorilla armor. I don't really know if I need any of this ammo or anything like that. I think I'm good. Alright, anything else exciting 
in here? Anything else I can... Oh, hello, what's this? A surveillance device. This Angaran security device detects approaching biological threats during nighttime or whiteout conditions when visual monitoring becomes invisible. Big Brother Angara is watching you. Oh, I can get up here. This is cool. I guess you can go anywhere you get up to anywhere you want to be. Oh, it's telling me to scan something too. Is it wanting me to scan up underneath me? Where was it? Here, maybe? Is it this? No? This? Hmm, it's over here? I won't just sit here. I'll find some way to free them. What? What do you need? I hope Nelge is still alive. Uh, oh, yeah, right, right. Can, do you have anything else to say? What else do you know about the labor camp? Not much. There isn't much reconnaissance on it. If it's like the other camps I've heard about, then the cat probably keep the Angara penned. Security is probably really tight. Lots of guards. Hmm, all right. Captured uncle. Why did the cat capture your uncle? I'm not sure. He and his crew were on a resistance mission, and I guess things just went wrong. Banya covered the base. Won't tell me anything else. Hmm. I never thought Nilge would be captured. He's the most experienced fighter I know. Well, I'm going to go now. Sounds like I... Then if he's the most experienced fighter, you know, you know, then my little novice behind probably doesn't have a whole lot I'm of... I'm reading a temperature decrease. Uh, going in there. Environment uh, check. Okay, Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Okay, Sam. Life support okay, is back online. Yeah, life support, cold temperatures, life support, cold temperatures. Okay, OMG. Is there a way to make Sam never talk again? I would like that. Thank you. All right. I think... All right, I don't think there's really a whole lot else for me to do in this particular area. So, um... I'm gonna go ahead and stop here for now, and next time I'll keep wandering around uh, Vold, doing quests, helping out some Angara, trying to get y'all to trust me. Thank you guys for watching, and bye for now.